Representative Hackbarth, thank you for joining us here today so we can interview. My first question is, can you describe your district and how you and your district are similar? I have a very conservative district. Uh, my district is very uh, libertarian, um, very conservative, uh, very Republican. And uh, I've always been that. So uh, I think I fit the district very, very well. Um, if you look at uh, my district and the amount of uh, uh, hunting licenses that are sold and the amount of uh, registered snowmobiles and registered ATVs and registered boats, those kinds of things, those outdoor fun kind of things, uh, you'll see that my district is always one of the highest districts for those kinds of licenses. And, and those are the kinds of things I like to do. I, I've been a hunter and a fisherman all my life. I love to ATV and snowmobile and boat and hunt and fish. And I think that's why I fit my district so well. What is your occupation outside the legislature? Well, I sold auto parts for 34 years. And uh, along with doing that, at the same time I was selling auto parts, I, uh, I became a volunteer firefighter for my community. I've been doing that for the last 30 years and still doing that today. Um, I own my own businesses. I've had two small businesses of my own while I've been working as an auto parts salesman. Um, and I also taught uh, uh, at uh, Hennepin Technical Centers for a while. I was a substitute instructor there for a while. What legislation have you worked on in the past that you are most proud of? I think a lot of the uh, uh, game and fish issues. Uh, game and fish and, uh, and the ATVs and snowmobiles and those kinds of things. I'm proud of the fact that I've kind of taken a lead on those issues and uh, I'm kind of the go-to guy on those things. And uh, so those are the things I'm the most proud of. The very first uh, bill that, one of the very first bills that I did was uh, uh, creating the turkey stamp. Uh, we have duck stamps that you have to buy in additional to your uh, hunting license. Uh, we have uh, pheasant stamps, those kinds of trout stamps. Uh, so I created the uh, uh, wild turkey stamp. And uh, w wild turkeys were just, a, we had a few down in uh, southeastern Minnesota, uh, down around Zumbro Falls, Zumbro uh, State Park, uh, or Whitewater State Park, down in that area, but we didn't have them statewide. Now turkeys are everywhere. And I, uh, I, I am very proud to say that uh, because of the turkey stamp, uh, we were able to transplant turkeys throughout the state and that uh, created the amount of turkeys that we have throughout the state and uh, provided a uh, very good hunting opportunity for everyone. So I'm very proud of that. Um, the very first piece of legislation that I did get passed was a uh, ice fishing uh, uh, contest bill. Uh, we were having a problem with uh, people coming in, putting on ice fishing contests, promising these huge prizes and then uh, when we they do the ice fishing contest, the prizes weren't there. So we uh, uh, drafted a bill, got it passed into legislation that uh, required some bonds and things like that that people had to have before they actually put on these ice fishing contests. Why did you initially decide to run for office as a representative? Uh, that's one of my favorite stories. Uh, I, I, I never intended to run for state representative. Um, uh, it was 1990, and uh, I was at home, like I told you earlier, I, I worked nights. And I was at home before I went to work, and there was a knock at my door. And I went to the door, and the lady was standing there, and uh, uh, she was campaigning door to door for state representative. And we talked a little bit, and I asked her some very specific questions. And uh, uh, she didn't agree with anything that I stood for. And I thought, wow, this is really odd. You know, I was uh, kind of a Democrat at that time. And I uh, thought, boy, uh, she, and, and she was a Democrat, and we just didn't see eye to eye on things. And I, I went, after she left, I went to the phone book, and I looked up the name of the lady that was the state rep at the time, the incumbent that she was challenging. And I called her, and she answered the phone. And I was kind of surprised by that. And I, I said to her, can I ask you some questions on how you stand on some things? I'm sure. So I asked her the same exact questions. I wanted to compare apples to apples. And uh, she stood for everything that I did, exactly the same. So, uh, so I voted for her, and, and the incumbent won, and the person that was at my door lost. 
So two years later, uh, in 1992, it was a redistricting year, and they redrew the lines like they do every 10 years. And I read in the Anoka County Union that, uh, and, and here was a picture of this woman that was at my door two years previous. And um, it was said that she was running in this new district that was created by redrawing the lines. And um, I immediately got up from, I, I took action again, uh, which I normally <laughs> didn't do, but I took uh, action again and I got up and I went and I, I looked up the State Republican Party, the phone number, and I called and I told them, I said, this woman is running in this district, I'm reading about it now, and who's running against her? Because I want to be a volunteer for that person because it's this other person doesn't represent what I feel and what I think the rest of our uh, people in this area feel. So uh, I want to I wanna volunteer for that person. Well, they said, we don't have anyone. I said, well, when you find somebody, here's my phone number, call me, and I want to help. I can go out and I can put up signs I can drive people door to door. Um, I can pass out literature. I can do lit drops, whatever. So, uh, so that was the beginning of all of this. If you could go back and visit any time period, what time would you travel to and why? This has changed over the years for me. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought that uh, getting to know Thomas Jefferson would be a good, that was my very first one I used to talk about all the time. I thought that would be very intriguing to talk to him about uh, uh, everything that he did and, and how he got to that point. He seems like a very intriguing guy. And I, I, I still think he's very interesting. Uh, all the things that he invented and every aspect of that gentleman was really something. I mean, just everything that he did. But, uh, and then, you know, I used to think it was about the Civil War time and Abraham Lincoln and uh, you know, our first Republican uh, president and, and all the things that he was thinking and, and, and would be nice to get to know him. Um, but I think now, uh, looking back uh, uh, at different presidents, and, and I, I don't know if uh, that's not really your question, but I kind of relate it back to different presidents that I would have liked to have known. Uh, I, I would have liked to have known Calvin Coolidge, I think. Uh, I think he was a really interesting guy and, and not very popular and people don't really think about him. But I, uh, the more I read about him and the more I think about him, uh, I, I would really like to go back and uh, pick his brain a little more and see where he was at because uh, I can relate to him more than just about anyone, I think.